Hello there and welcome to another video from Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy. Today I want to talk a little bit about a, a new feature that's in uh, Windows PowerShell 5, uh, which is the convert from JSON, J-S-O-N, uh, commandlet. Now a lot of IT pros, uh, they, they see the, uh, the word JSON, uh, stands for, you know, you know, Java script, um, you know, object, something like that, uh, notation, JavaScript object notation. And they get like all freaked out and they think, oh my gosh, you know, that's like programming stuff, you know. Well, the thing is that um, what uh, what JSON does is it gives us a nice object oriented um, you know, representation of data that comes back from a web request. Uh, in the past, we had to parse XML, and parsing XML can always be a little squirrely at best. And uh, so the neat thing about using uh, Convert from JSON is it just makes it really, really easy. So, for instance, uh, today I want to show uh, two examples of doing this. So, I've got my request. Uh, now my request connects to a web service. It's up on the internet, musicbrains.org, and uh, we got an art. Uh, so have an artist, and uh, we've got the um, the representation here. And then notice at the very end it says format equals JSON, J S O M. So uh, I went to uh, to to the website, and from there I was able to see that uh, they have this. This is actually an experimental interface, but you know, then this isn't like really you know, production-oriented code here. Yeah. You know, um, so, uh, so I encode my request. I just store it in a variable called request, and then I use the invoke web request commandlet, uh, which is a commandlet that uh, actually came out in like uh, PowerShell 4, I believe. And uh, so this makes it really easy to uh, send stuff to uh, internet services and get information back. And then I take the output from that, and I uh, pipeline it to convert from JSON. Now, at this point, um, what comes back actually looks like this. So I'm going to run this selection of code. So I highlight it, select it, and then I uh, press the run selection or F8. And uh, then it comes back, and we can see that there's a number of fields that are coming back with the data here. So we got aliases. Um, some of the fields don't aren't populated. Uh, then we got some other stuff here. Um, then we get on down here, which is the disambiguation, uh, the country code, and stuff like that. So from this, uh, I'm really only interested in the name, the disambiguation, and the uh, country code. So uh, I run my script, and bada beam, bada boom, it comes back, and it says uh, Nirvana uh, 90s grunge band uh, from the U.S. So that's actually pretty cool. So this is really, really simple. Uh, if I had to do the XML thing, then I'm looking at inner XML, outer XML, and all that stuff, and uh, having to parse through that. Now, PowerShell makes it easier uh, to parse XML, but... Um, convert from JSON if the web interface supports it uh, it just comes back and boom it's a not it's already an object it's nice and easy you know, and I uh, just you know select and uh, pull the stuff out so uh, another example uh, from this again this is another request uh, going to the same place um, these uh, this queries here uh, I, ju I just pulled directly from their uh, sample code that they've got on the uh, the web page there so there's others if you want to play around with them uh, Try to figure out what these GUIDs are and all that kind of stuff. Um, so store this uh, again. Give my request. Convert from JSON. Uh, this time, uh, what I'm, I want to show you is that uh, some of the fields are actually embedded objects. And um, so, uh, if I look here uh, at the um, the uh, run the code to this point right here uh, then it comes back over here and we can see that there's my releases and that looks a little squirrely you know there was a section that was kind of like that on my Nirvana thing but I didn't dive into it so I want to show this here so uh, when you see this is we've got another embedded object inside uh, under uh, releases you know which makes sense because a band might very well have more than one release or something and so I just simply use select object that's expand property specify the field and then from there then uh, we can see that this returns another object, and uh, there are several 
th fields there. So once again, then I went through there. I selected the uh, the, uh, the title, the date, and uh, the country. Uh, run the code, and it comes back, and uh, we can see that this particular band uh, released had a number of releases. Uh, several of them were in Japan. One was in Korea, and everything's groovy. So this is how easy it is to uh, to consume um, you know, JSON formatted uh, data from a uh, web service and. Um, Again, uh, it just ties in, you know, with stuff in Windows PowerShell, making things easier to do. So, uh, submit the invoke web request, single line code. It comes back. Um, I'm pi here I've piped it into convert from JSON. If it was a lot of data, I would store it in a variable and then, you know, parse it uh, offline, if you will, uh, like that. So, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy. I hope you're having a uh, wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.